Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Your intuition is the strongest attribute, is your strongest attribute. It allows you to have a foresight like none other. Trust it and don't go against it. Let's get into it. Your intuition is the strongest attribute about you. And unfortunately, when it comes to people doing some weird stuff, it's better to be wrong than right. All right. So trust your intuition. Even if you're wrong, hey, at least nothing bad happened to you and you ain't do nothing bad to nobody else. All right. So all you did was probably distance yourself and separate yourself from someone and go the other way. So when when you are dealing with people and <clears throat> when people are when you're in an environment, wherever there's people at, there's going to be certain messages that you get when people try to step into your vicinity and try to get to know you, talk to you, be around you. It's going to be certain things that go off like, yo, is this person someone I should deal with or is this person not someone I should deal with? You're going to be able to tell how people are coming at you, how people are approaching you. You're going to be able to tell certain things, especially if your mind remembers certain things that you ignored in the past. Your intuition is going to be like, boop. All right, yo, you, we done dealt with someone like this before. We done had someone like this step to us before, approach us before. Someone tried this foolishness before. Let's not deal with it. When people, yo, usually, and it's, it's, it's the same thing, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. When someone is testing you and you get the, the inclination, your intuition is like, boop, 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 yo, somebody's testing me. That's someone to avoid. You don't need to be tested by random people, random strangers. Don't let people test you. Somebody is testing you. They're eventually trying to see just how much they could get over on you with how they want to treat you. All right. How can I treat this person? How can I approach this person? Some people will treat you the way they the. You'll wonder why some people are treating you crazy or think they can treat you crazy. More or less, I should say that. You're wondering why people think they could get certain things over on you? It's because you you failed a test that they tried to see if you were going to pass or fail. And a lot of times to pass tests where people are, are trying you, all you got to do some, most of the time is just not say anything. You could, you could pass a lot of tests that people try to test you with just by silence, just by not saying nothing and just just thinking about what the person is saying when you're when you're quiet and you don't say anything and you think about what somebody just said they're gonna be like yo this person is up to the bs that i just tried to test them with or the foolishness that i just tried to bring into this person's life everybody doesn't deserve a response everyone doesn't de deserve a response everything doesn't deserve a response because some people will test you with something and it's like it seems like a joke it seems like they're being friendly, but really this person is testing you to see just how far they could get with you. All right. They may be trying to play you some kind of way. They may be trying to play you for a fool in front of others. They're trying to test you to see if you're nice. They're trying to test you to see if you're uh, the type of person that you are. People want to test people. People don't. Sometimes people, not everyone is like you. You are probably the type of person that leaves people alone. There are other people who don't leave people alone. There are people who seek people out and try to test them just to see how far they could go. And you're not going to let people do that with you anymore. If, if you notice a pattern with people doing certain things, saying certain things around you, asking you certain questions, and then after that, their behavior towards you is a way that you really don't appreciate or a way that you really don't like or a way that you wouldn't treat another person shortly after they just do something that you have noticed someone else do in the past and then treat you a different way, that's a test. So how they'll test you is this. They'll come up to you, they'll say something, a little ha ha, he he, and then what they'll do is they're judging you based off how you respond to that. that that's how you pass the test. People will say things, people will try things. Based off how you respond to it is how they're they're judging you after that. 
if you if you pass the test, that means they're probably going to keep their distance because they're like, OK, this is someone that I'm not going to be able to get over on. This is someone that I'm not going to be able to play like that. I'm not going to be able to play with this person. And this is great for you not allowing people to play with you. You might be a good person. You might be friendly. All right. You don't want to be friendly. You, you don't mind being people's friend, but don't be friendly. People, people treat people who are friendly like fools because they think you're a nice guy. All right. They think you're a nice person. All right, people will treat you like a fool if they see you as a friendly person. And not to say that everyone will do it, but the people who are corrupt narcissists, people who are, you know, jerks, a-holes, they'll they'll take advantage of people like that. Like, oh, okay, he's a this you know, he's a, a f boy. He's a fuddy duddy. We could we could just deal with this person however we want. And you're not, you may not even be that type of person. But you may have the, the the stress of dealing with people like that just because you really want to be a good dude. And you don't want to have to keep constantly telling people to you don't want to keep having to constantly keep checking people. Sometimes you have to check people, but you don't want to be that person that's tried by everybody. You don't want to be that person that everybody thinks that they could try or disrespect or get over on. That's not you if you're watching this video. And a lot of a lot of times you can do that with silence just by like just looking just by being you and keeping your energy like, yo, this person really think, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you may have to say something to people, but other times, yo, when it's, when it's something light, when, when it's, when it's something like kind of like more disrespectful or something where you don't want people to look at you crazy because of that, that's where you're going to have to say something. That's where you will have to open up your mouth, stand up to this person be like, yo, you talking to me like that? That's when you, that's when you have to check people. But when it's just something silly and when it's just something dumb, and when it's something that is just not important, that's when you just like give people like you, you don't even acknowledge them. And like they'll they will get the point by you not saying anything and not even acknowledging them. When people are trying to play with you, all you have to do is not say anything and not acknowledge them. And they will get the point if they if they go further than that. That's when you really have to check them because that person's crazy and they're coming at you crazy and you got to shut that down. You you, you got to shut that down. All right, because otherwise, yo, it's going to be a free for all between you and whoever wants to try to uh, make it that way. You got to shut that down. So that's what I have noticed. And it, it just it, 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 it dawned on me the other day. And that's why I was inspired to make this video. I'm like, yo, OK, cool. Boom. Understood. People want to try to test you. And then from that test, from that point on, that's when they're going to try to play with you. They test you, and then after they test you, they test you to see where your mind is at. They test you to see where you're at mentally, and then after that, boom, they just they'll go in on you. And if you don't want that to happen, what you have to do is you got to pass that test by showing them that you know with your body language, your demeanor, just by not being friendly to people. You can be people's friends, but don't be friendly to people. Don't be overly smiling in people's faces. Don't be overly nice to people. Don't even be nice to people. Just be who you are. That, that's not good enough. Then they can go kick rocks. People want you to be nice to them so they can take advantage of you. They, they want you to be nice to them so they can treat you however they want. People, you know, you know, uh, people who are uh, uh, ignorant like that love nice people. They love nice people just so they can be ignorant to them. But you got you have to show them that, yo, you're not doing that to me. I know that's the type of person you are, and that's cool, and I can't change that, but you're not doing that to me. We're not, we're, 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 we're not, uh, me and you ain't gonna have no interaction like that. You act like that to whoever you want, but it's not gonna be me. And that's just, that's just how things have to be with people. And then once people see that you mean business, their whole style will change up. I, you know, people's whole style will change up. They try to get rude with you. They try to get tough with you. They try to intimidate you. And then you show them and let them know. You either show them that that's not going to happen or you let them know that that's not going to happen. And, yo, know, their whole style will change up because they know that, yo, know, this person is not the one. They're not going to take my stuff. I can't come at this person this way. All right? you, either, you either have to, like, just show them that that's not you or you may have to actually check them up on it. But either way, by doing those things, passing the test that way immediately, as soon as something happens, as soon as it goes down, all right, by, by either not letting something go or not acknowledging something, that's how you pass the test. 
And there are certain things that you have to let go and you don't hold on to. You don't hold on to like the, the energy from it or like the negativity of it. You know, you don't uh, try to make problems with them because of that, but you just quell the problem because of that. All right. You, you put an end to it. You, you, you nip it in the butt or bud, whatever they say. I think it's bud. I don't I don't think any, anybody's nipping anything in the butt, but um, I think it's nip it in the bud. All right. And yo, you just, you end it as soon as it happens. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? What's up with that? Why are you coming at me like that? Put them, yo, put them on the hot seat. Put them on front street. All right. Make them, yo, yo, make them feel uncomfortable. Like, yo, you, what, what are you coming at me like that for? You really, you really think that uh, you could, you could play with me like that? And that's how you, that's how you deal with people. That's how you handle people. And that's how you keep people off your back. Are right? you either handle the situation where you check them or you don't acknowledge them. People think they can say something funny. They think they can say something stupid. They think they could do something weird around you, especially, especially in front of other people. And they, they love doing these kinds of things in front of other people. They love getting attention from trying to uh, do like little uh, stabby in the backy, uh, conniving, uh, underlying, passive aggressive, petty things to people. They love doing things to people like that in group settings. All right. You, you might be a, uh, it might be just at your job and you're a new employee. And then here comes this person uh, like smiling in your face, laughing and being goofy and all these things. People like that are usually trying to play you. Somebody that just meets you that is being serious is not going to display that kind of behavior. Those are the people that are usually they you know, smiling in your face. Yo, they want to take your place. Those are people who are secretly have something against you, something towards you, have some type of problem with you. And it's like an on site kind of thing. So if they have a problem with you already like that, you're going to have to check that. And that's why you may have had problems with people in the past because you didn't realize that this person had a problem with you and you thought you could be friendly. You thought you could be people's friends. You thought you could just ignore it. You thought you could just let it go. You can't ignore it. You can't let it go. You can't be somebody's friend that acts like that. You got to show this person that you mean business and you're not the one to be played with. All right. So that way people will just let you be. All right. This is for this video is for peaceful people. This video is for people who just want to be left alone. All right. And yo, when, when you want to be left alone, you have to show people that you're going, they're going to leave you alone. You can't just want to be left alone and just ignore it or stay away or avoid. Like those are things that are going to get you messed with even more. Those are things that are going to get you bothered or effed with even more. Those aren't things that are going to get you left alone. You can't just ignore a person or a situation and act like it doesn't exist and think it's going to go away that way. You could not acknowledge something. Somebody asks you to do something that's out of your job. You don't acknowledge that. Might even might, might even walk away laughing at them. <laughs> Somebody does something that is that is wrong or disrespectful. You don't even acknowledge that. If it's like passive aggressive kind of thing, to where it's like, yo, you really just did that. You know what? Certain things you have to let go because you may be you may you might react to it the wrong way in that moment. And certain things you can go back to later. And check people on if it's something that really rubbed you the wrong way. You could just be like, yo, why did you do that? I'm going to need you not to do that. You're not going to do that. If, if you do that, me and you are going to have a problem. And it's not that, you know, you're not trying to be no super tough dude. It's just you're teaching people how to treat you. And you're teaching people that, yo, don't mess with me. And that, that's because that's what you want, right? Sometimes you really just have to step to people and be like, yo, do not mess with me. You know, you're not coming at them any kind of way. You're not starting no trouble, but you, yo, do not mess with me. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Do not mess with me. Catch them by themselves. Catch the person by themselves when there's no one else around. You ain't got a show to put on for nobody. You catch the person when they're by themselves and there's nobody else around. You're like, yo, you, I'm, I'm not the one. Don't mess with me. We not, yo, just do not mess with me. That's it. And then just leave it at that. Stare them right dead in the eyes. All right, stare them right dead in the eyes, step to them, get right up in their face. Like, yo, do not mess with me. I'm not the one. And then that's it. And then after that, you leave it alone. And if, if, if it gets worse than that, you know, you may have to handle it a different way because you're, what you're trying to do is avoid. You're trying to avoid. You're not avoiding the confrontation. You're trying to avoid problems. All right. You're not afraid of confrontation. You're not avoiding the confrontation. But what you're trying to avoid at the end of the day is getting into a problem with this person and having things go any further than they need to go. 
if it's at your workplace, if it's a place where you live, all right, if it's a place where you just want your peace, you want to be left alone, all right, you just, you let people know that they're not going to do you like that. And if they're doing something weird and it's not as passive aggressive and it's not directly in your face, just ignore it. All right. At the end of the day, you could. And, and that's where it goes back to not even acknowledging the person, not even acting like they exist. Some people are weird. They want you to notice them. They want attention from you. And I understand that can get annoying, but you may have to just breathe through things like that and just not even acknowledge these people. All right? Some people are weird. Some people, they want your attention. All right. Some people are giving you an unnecessary amount of attention and they're going to want that attention back if this person is a, a, a flat out idiot. All right. So some people are just flat out idiots and they don't like to um, they, they did like they like to get attention from people and they like to do things from a distance that are just annoying. So this this type of this is the these are the type of people that they may do something weird from a distance or they may pull up near you with their vehicle or, you know, they might, you know, try to get in front of you when you're trying to handle your business or do what you're trying to do. Those things are annoying. But those are the things you don't make a big deal out of. And those are the things that you don't acknowledge. All right. If it's not directly to you, if they're not putting hands on you, if it's nothing life threatening, don't acknowledge it. But if it's in a situation to where a person is like putting themselves near you and you're in front of other people and you have to save face like one of those type of situations, you just don't acknowledge it. And if they make it something to where you have to acknowledge it, you straight up tell them, be like, yo, I tried to ignore that, but I see you're not going to let me. What you're going to do is leave me alone and you're not going to come at me like that because if you do, we're going to have problems. And that's how you have, that's how you get people to leave you be. The people who don't want to leave you be and people that don't want to leave you alone, there's something wrong with them. So you show them be like, yo, I see you got a problem. I see there's something wrong with you. What you need to do is you need to fall back and chill because whatever's wrong with you is not going to be wrong with me. I'm not I'm not making a problem out of your problem. You need to go ahead and find something else to do and find somebody else to do it with because I'm not them. And you, you just say that straight to their face. And most time, most of the times. People will leave you be and leave you alone. All right. You're not trying to start problems by this. You're not trying to create problems like this. You're not avoiding. You're not uh, uh, trying to avoid conflict. But what you're doing is you're beating it head on. You're nipping it in the butt and the bud and you're um, you're making it so you can avoid the problem. You're 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 deading this. This is what they call deading it. You are deading negative situations by doing this. You're showing people that you're not afraid of them. You're showing people that, yo, I can stand up to you if I have to. All right. I'm on the same type of time you on. I just don't want it to go there and it's not going to go there. All right. So that's really what you're letting people know. And that's you're, you're, you're standing on your, your principles. you got to have principles that you stand on. If you don't stand for any for something, you'll fall for anything. So you just you just stand for something and, you know, you're not causing any problems. You're not trying to create problems for yourself. But what you're doing is you're avoiding negativity, you're avoiding problems. All right. So certain things can be avoided. Certain things can be ignored. Certain things can, you, you don't have to acknowledge, but there are certain times and certain places where you will have to acknowledge things. All right. But if somebody is trying to test you and it's just petty and it's stupid, don't even acknowledge it because usually those people, they just want some, they just want some energy real quick, or they just want somebody to pay attention to them or they want to steal the show from you and you put the attention on them. All right. They probably see you as a threat some type of way. Maybe you have to talk to someone maybe that they like, or maybe you're trying to handle some business around someone that they like. And they're all up in your business because you're talking to the person that they like. A lot of people who uh, want to be the center of attention. A lot of people who are, uh, were once the cool person at a place or a lot of people like like these people are egotistical. They think just by you showing up, you're taking something from them. You're taking people's attention from them. You're you're taking their spot, or you're you're taking the person that likes them. Or it's it's, it's something that they they cannot um, they cannot sift through normally and regularly, and not deal with that would deal with life accordingly and properly. It's like their mind doesn't allow them to do that. They view things in a way to where. It's like it's going to cause a problem, but you can't let that get to you. And what you have to do is you have to rationalize. These people cannot rationalize situations. 
you are smart. There's nothing wrong with being smart. There's nothing wrong with, with you being the type of person that you are if you're chill, if you're laid back, if you're relaxed. But what you're you're not going to stand for is someone trying to destroy your peace or take you out of your state of mind or make your life hard because of a problem that they have with you. And if somebody has a problem with you and they're trying to make your life difficult or hard, then you're going to let them know that that's not going to take place and that's not going to happen. And you're not, you're just not going to stand for it. All right. There's been a, probably a lot of situations where you haven't dealt with these, uh, these kinds of people in the past, just because you didn't know how to handle the situation. Well, this is a, a good video on how to handle these kinds of situations. This video right here has given you a little bit more insight on how to deal with these kinds of people. So that way you don't just keep having to, to deal with them how they want to deal with you. Now you know, or maybe you already knew, maybe this is just a refresher, but these are just some ideas, some, some tips on how to deal with these kinds of people who think that they're just going to come into your life and tell you how things are going to go. They try to test you, see where you're at. And then from there, they just want to play with you, toy with you and mess with you. This is how you deal with people like this. All right. If you have to step to them, you step to them. If you have to call them out, you call them out, but you're not doing it to start problems. You're doing it to avoid the problem and you're not avoiding conflict. You're just doing it to avoid the problem. And so that there won't be any future conflict. There won't be any future uh, confrontation. That's what I meant to say, confrontation. All right, don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of the confrontation. Don't be afraid to step into them. Don't be afraid of saying what you need to say to them. Don't be afraid of talking to them. You're just talking. Don't be afraid of anything that comes from this person. Nothing. There's nothing to fear when it comes to somebody that is just trying to intimidate you who has a problem with you. You have nothing to fear. All right, remember, you have God in your life, number one. With God in your life, you won't fear anyone or anything. There ain't nothing to fear out here. All right. False evidence appearing real and, and, and what you feel is not real. All right. We're going to drop a video on that next. What you feel is not real. That's coming soon. All right. So it is what it is with these kinds of people. They have a problem with you. They think they're going to bully you. They think they're going to uh, handle you however they want because they're used to uh, people perceiving them a certain way or they're used to people being afraid of them or people cowering in fear for them. No, that's not going to happen. That's not you. You're not a coward. You're not afraid. You're not in fear of anyone or anything, but you're going to be wise. You're not doing this to be dumb. You're not doing this to cause trouble. You're not doing this to come off as super tough. You're tough minded. And because you're tough minded, you're not going to allow someone to play with you in a way to where you don't want to be played with. You don't want people playing with you. This is how you handle these situations. You don't want people messing with you or thinking they're going to bully you or attack you some kind of way. This is how you handle these situations. All right. This is how you handle these situations. This is how you take care of things. All right. And you know, people will back down because you're going to make them back down. When you when you come off to when you come off to someone like yo you going to back down and leave me alone and that not not do you just want that but you come off to them that way because that's what you your, your presence is demanding your presence is demanding that yo you're going to leave me alone you're going to give me my space you're going to not bother me because that's what I want that's what I want to happen and that's what we that's what's going to happen that's that's the that's the vibe you're giving off that's the energy you're giving off that's what they that that's how they're going to treat you they're going to think you crazy and they're going to want to leave you alone because they're not going to want nothing that comes with that. All right. They may think they could go, oh, man, I could do this. I could do that. Hey, but you ain't, you, yo, you ain't going to uh, leave away unscathed. I'll tell you that much. So before it even has to get to that, why even let it get to that? Because I'm not taking it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to avoid the confrontation, but I am, I, I'm going to meet the confrontation head on. I'm going to meet this conflict head on. So that way I can handle this and avoid any future problems from this person. And that's how you deal with people who are problematic, people who think they're this and people who think they're that and think they're just going to come into your world and control and dictate how they operate around you. You're not going to let that happen. All right. So th this is just a, this is just some some tips, some information on how to deal with people who, you know, think they can bully, think they can control, think they can overpower people. It's all it's all mentally. Whoever they whoever they see that doesn't have a strong enough mind. That's what they're going to do. All right. They, they may be coming at you because your size. They may be coming at you because you're chill. You're laid back. You might be chill. You might be laid back, but you are ready. All right. And mentally prepared. 
It's, it, the, you do not have to change for other people, but you do have to change certain things about yourself because you cannot continue to be the person who's picked on or continue to be the person who's bothered or to continue to be the person who people are just going to uh, dump their load off on because they having a bad day or they want to go have some fun by bothering that person over there that ain't bothering nobody. So you have to you have to let them know that, bro, you gonna go back over there and not bother me. I see what you're coming over here to do, but you're not going to come over here and bother me. All right. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope these hope these are some useful things that you could use in your life and in your reality. All right. Strengthen your mind, mental toughness. All right. Um, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And, yo, you're going to keep going and you're not going to allow people to bother you, pick on you, mess with you, disturb your peace. You're not going to let people do to you what they want to do. All right. That's not you. Hit that like button, hit that share button. I'll see you in the next video. We out.